Hey guys, it's Ross Gordon on the Space Cat State. Continuing on with Women of the Galaxy, we're going to check out what it says about Queen Trios of Shutoran. And there is her spread, which is very, very nice. You see there her metallic golden hand. You see Lord Vade in the background, and he's obviously the one who cut off her hand, as we saw in the Shutoran War, where Vader gets the murder bots to assassinate the rest of the royal family, putting her in charge. So let's see what it says. And her quote is, we all do our duty. As the third child of the king of the strategically valuable planet of Shutoran, Princess Trios doesn't expect to step directly into a leadership role. But Darth Vader has plans for her. In Marvel's 2015 Darth Vader comic, we see the Empire's push for increased production of ore from Shutoran causing friction and inspiring an attempt on Vader's life. The Sith Lord's solution is to kill Trios's family and install her as queen of the mid-rim world as a vassal to the Empire. Following this horror, Trios must find a way to accept the new status quo. She has reserves of strength. She doesn't cower when she loses a hand to Vader's lightsaber. Trios looks to her future and faces her subjects with new determination. What choice does she have? Still, she proves herself loyal by claiming victory in a civil war and later using her mining expertise to help oversee the Empire's extraction of kyber crystals from Jeddah's ruins. But from the start, Trios isn't afraid of Vader. She's aware he's manipulating her on behalf of the Empire and finds ways to push back against his wishes and remind him she's queen. She even channels his methods by putting naive royalty in place under her, telling the Sith, I found inexperienced youths not expecting power the most easy to manipulate, Lord Vader. And she is a great character. Devious, scheming, she will do anything to protect Shutoran. She's determined it will not become another Alderaan because... As you recall in uh, the Shutoran War, the prologue, he delivers a gift um, to Shutoran and it's a rock from Alderaan, what's left of it. So it does seem like she's siding with the rebels, but she's playing them. She is loyal to the Empire. And I've said before, I wonder how her story will end. Can't imagine she's going to get away with it uh, for too much longer once the rebellion really starts to uh, overpower the Empire. It, after, say, Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. I have no doubt we shall find out her face in due course, but Queen Trios is a great addition to the canon. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment or suggestion for upcoming topic you'd like to see discussed, or like the video.